Hey everyone, I'm Arpit and I lead growth at Integromat. I'm really excited for you to be checking out this awesome use case we've created. We will quickly show you the Coda doc as well as one of the many chat flows and one of the Integromat scenarios. Um, all of this will be available to you as templates so you will easily be able to replicate this entire use case. So this section on the Coda doc called buyer leads contains a table and this is the table that stores the leads that come in from the chatbot via Integromat. Now let me show you the flows on the chatbot. So on the chatbot, we have three flows called buyer, seller, and welcome. The buyer flow contains the buyer sequence or the buyer funnel. So once the user completes the question in this funnel, the data is pushed to the chatbot. So now let me show you the actual chatbot. I'm going to start interacting with the bot here and I'm going to complete the buyer funnel as quickly as I can. Absolutely. Cool. So starts by asking me whether I'm a buyer or a seller. Click on buyer. Am I working with another agent? Yes, I am. The name of the agent. Must you complete lease period? Yes, I do. Here I need to enter a date in this particular format. So here you go. Obviously, needless to say, you can change all of this in the chatbot. Now it's gonna ask me some how specific questions. Um, so what am I interested in? What's my budget? Number of bedrooms followed by number of bathrooms. And lastly, the locality cool right and now i need to share my personal details uh, this phone number is fetched directly from my facebook account but one can obviously enter another number over here it works either way and also the email address i'm just going to select this one and now it's asking me if i'm buying am i also looking to sell i'm going to click on no i'm not and now let me show you the Coda doc. I'm going to quickly refresh it. And here you go. You can see that the data got pushed to the doc. And uh, this is the Integromat scenario that made that happen. So this is the webhook which receives the data from the ManyChat bot. Uh, this is the Coda list rows module which basically searches if this if the, if a row exists with with the, with this particular email address um, this is because if a lead exists on the doc we want to update that lead and if a lead doesn't exist only then we want to create a new lead and then we have these two other modules these are switch modules and what i've done here is is I'm, i've just uh, manipulated the output of of the budget question so um, using the output using the range i've calculated the minimum budget as well as the maximum budget. So on the Coda doc, you will see there are two columns for uh, budget minimum, budget maximum. So these are calculated rows. So this is just to show you what else you can do with Integromat, you know. And then if the lead doesn't exist, a new row is added. If the lead exists, then the row is updated. So that's it. Um, that's how simple it is. And that covers um, the basic connection between Integromat and the doc. Sorry, and the, the many chat bot and the doc. Uh, we have these sections on the doc where you can learn more about the doc specifically. You will find the links to the templates right here. And in this section, you will find the many chat flow or rather the many chat template, which you can install. You just need to keep in mind that since this template uses pro features of many chat, you will need a pro account to be able to install it. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna hand it over to Al, who's gonna take you through the Coda doc in detail. Over to you, Al. Thanks, Arvid. Uh, my name is Al Chen. I'm a solutions architect at Coda, and I'm going to walk you quickly through the real estate CRM with Facebook Messenger integration doc that um, Arvid and I put together. So to start off, you're going to see this introduction section. This just kind of walks through walks you through all the different sections of the Coda doc. These are different sections and folders in a Coda doc, which we'll go through one by one. And feel free to click through some of these links to go to the ManyChat uh, <clears throat> integration 
with uh, via IntegraMat, so you can see more about how everything works together. Learn a little bit more about ManyChat on this section, and also about IntegraMat in this section, and with a little short video you can watch right here. So as Arpit showed you during his walkthrough, all of the leads from ManyChat will go into either seller leads in this section. These are this is the long table of of leads right here, and it, it will. There's also another integration that goes sends all the leads into the buyers table. Now these are just tables in Coda, but the one big difference between tables in Coda versus tables in let's say Google Sheets or Excel spreadsheets is that they can have many different views. So for instance, this is a view off of the main seller leads table, which is right here. Remember, this data comes from ManyChat. This is a table that just shows a view that that's off of the main table that allows you to see all different sellers. And when you change the lead status or any of these columns here in the view, it also updates in the main table that you have over here. You can see how there's many different columns here in the main table. Same thing with this buyer activity and status section. This is a view off of the main buyer leads table. So let's say I change uh, Stuart Smith, I change his lead status from found a home to not buying anymore. If I go to the buyer leads and I look for Stuart Smith and I look for the, it looks like the column is hidden. Let's go to lead status. So this is Stuart Smith. Notice how it says not buying anymore. If I change this to, let's say found a home, this. I'm going to hide this column. In the buyer view, you'll see I changed back to found a home. So everything is all connected. So when you change data in the table or any of the views, everything gets updated all at the same time. And you can quickly see here, these are all the individual views associated that are related to the main buyer leads table, which contains all the data from ManyChat. Now let's take a look at some of the other sections here. If you, as a real estate uh, company, you may want to see all the different seller deals that are happening right now. This is a view off of the sellers table that is filtered to only show where the status is listing agreement signed. So these are the three clients that you, you know you, you need to focus on in order to sell their property. For buyer deals, these are buyers, clients who have signed the buyer's broker agreement. So you also know that you need to help these three clients to find their next home along. And this data, again, all comes from that buyer leads table. Let's take a look, take a look at some quick views here. This is a Trello board Kanban view of homes for sale. This only shows homes that match these four different conditions where the lead status is, listing agreement is signed, the contract is not signed, payments received, and the deal is not lost yet. So you have one house that you need to sell. These are the buyers that you need to help find properties for. And also another table of view to show all the leads from your sellers and buyers. So the great thing about this is that unlike other CRM tools, uh, like you know, you could be using HubSpot or Pipedrive or some other tool, or maybe building your own kind of custom tool and Google Sheets. This is an all-in-one tool that allows you to build your own views in your own custom CRM. And these buttons also act as ways you can jump to different sections in the doc. So let's say I want to go to seller deals. I can click on this and it'll bring me back to seller deals. If I view homes for sale, it'll bring me into the homes for sale section. So it's almost kind of like a quick way to jump around your doc. And finally, in this overview section, once you want to see the high, sometimes you just want to see the high level overview of all your data, you can click on snapshot. And this is kind of like a dashboard that shows you how many seller leads you have, bar leads you have. And these are actually, these numbers are actually formulas in the doc that calculate kind of like formulas in Excel or Google Sheets, but you can have these formulas right in the doc itself. So whenever you change the statuses for your buyers and sellers, all this data will automatically update. And the great thing is that you can customize this however you want. You can maybe add another emoji here, or you can just 
add your own custom filtering to how these numbers come out. It's all up to you. And that's essentially the main gist of this CRM. Also, if you load this doc on mobile, so if you're a real estate agent or a broker and you're constantly on the go, these docs look really great on a mobile device. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. This is what it would look like if you open up this doc on your mobile phone. You have a nice kind of overview of the dashboard. Let's take a look at some of these uh, views. You notice how this table now kind of like allows you to scroll to the left and right. And you can click on these buttons as well to go to different sections. And that is the walkthrough of the real estate CRM doc uh, that uses Integromat to get data from ManyChat. And thanks for watching.